My rank is Sergeant First Class, the words of a young girl in military uniform, one of thousands of children between the ages of 7 and 15 who fought in ethnic warfare in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And this is the man accused of recruiting them. The former tradesman turned warlord vying for control of Congo's gold-rich northeast. Thomas Lubanga, the first accused to be tried by the International Criminal Court in The Hague. The ICC was formally constituted in 2002 with jurisdiction to try genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes committed after July 2002. 108 states are so far signed up to fall under the court's jurisdiction, but notably the United States has yet to do so. The trial of Thomas Lubanga is being seen as an important test of the reach and efficiency of the world's first independent permanent court. With little in the way of a proper functioning state, the rule of law barely applies in the DRC, a legal vacuum the International Criminal Court is designed to fill. Critics argue that's a dangerous breach of sovereignty. Supporters, though, point out that the ICC only steps in where the country in question refuses or is unable to do so itself, as is the case with Thomas Lubanga. The prosecution will present evidence on three counts of war crimes for the alleged use of child soldiers. Our policy was going to be very focused and we present a very focused investigation with 30 witnesses. But of course the defense could present witness themselves and at the end of the day, judges will decide. But I believe this trial will end this year. Lubanga's militia is part of fighting that since 1999 has claimed 60,000 lives. His trial is a high-profile debut for the ICC. Others may be bigger, like Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir, possibly said to be the first sitting head of state to be charged by the International Court. And there have been repeated suggestions that Israel committed war crimes in its attacks on Gaza. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.